Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan for Make Love Via Self Learning Tutorials. When this tutorial, we will be going through a basic workflow between Blender and FreeCAD, like how to import the OBJ file and convert those meshes into the Arc objects. So we'll be going through that basic workflow. So let's start. So you see, this is a sample file made in Blender with two I beams sections. So the very first step we need to do is go to the file option and export export this file into the wavefront.obg format let's save it in a desktop in the sample form file export so now close this so let's open the freecad and now we will open that obg file we save it on the desktop in the sample file so open and tick the option alias mesh so now you can see we have those two eye beams here eye sections so the very first step you need to do is go to the arc workbench and select your mesh and the arc menu from the utilities select split mesh so this is split the mesh into two components you can see here now we'll go to the workbench mesh design select the two meshes and in the meshes toolbar go to the analyze and select evaluate and repair the mesh so select the bottom option that I predicted repair and select analyze so the objects are fine here with very less errors otherwise you may have some error and you have to repair for further so click close and there are several operations like harmonize the normals fill the holes so all, everything is fine here now go to the part workbench select your meshes and go to the part here we have create shape from the mesh click on that let a tolerance be 0 1 0 the default one click ok so now we have two objects created uh, delete the old ones so delete now select the new objects go to the part again the part menu and now click on the option refine shape so we have a new shapes created delete the old one now select these two shapes go to the part menu again once again and convert select the option convert to solid so now we have the final solids created so these are no more meshes now so what further we can do is now let's convert these objects into the arc objects so go to the arc workbench select both of these objects and click create structure so now we have the structures created like the very first one we can give its properties like column it's already column here and the second one give its role like beam so everything is set here so now you see how easily we have converted our mesh objects from blender into the arc objects the solid objects in the free cat now what we can do else is go to the fm workbench so sorry before that we need to combine this in the part workbench select these two structures and make the fusion from this option here make a union so we have the fusion here so let's make compound also from the part compound compound filter so that's fine now go to the fm workbench click on the compound and make the analysis object so now from this analysis selecting the compound filter make the g mesh from this option let the default value be zero to set automatically and click apply now it may take a while to create the mesh for the FEM analysis you can skip the video uh, from this it may take some while as you can see it's more complex object The mesh is being created. So, what are the basic steps that we follow to revise that? 
So the very first for creating the file in your blender that you have created then export that file into obj format the wavefront and then import that file in the free cat in the alias mesh format then in the mesh design we will apply several operation then the part will define the shapes and convert them to the solid then we can make them as structure objects from the arc workbench then we create the fe analysis object and from there we are now running the meshes it's creating the FEM mesh here it may take a while so the mesh is created mesh is created now for patience so now you can apply the material let the material be steel generic click OK now let's fix the boundaries we will fix the bottom end of the beam simply click on it and add so this is fixed now let's apply the area load from this option let it be 1000 Newton and select the surface so we need to reverse the direction by this option so now it's vertical click OK now let's hide the component and hide the mesh so now clicking on the calculus object we can run the analysis from this option here so click on that so now it may take a more while to run the analysis you can see it's a very complex complex in the sense means we have converted these objects from the obj file and now from the arc so it becomes complex geometry otherwise when we have some straight geometry like simple slabs and columns, rectangular and objects. So that becomes much easy. So this may take some while. So the results are here. They are quick than my expectations. So clicking on the results, we can double click or we can show the visualized data from here. So click on the absolute displacement, show the bar. So let's see the visualization. So you can see to visualizing like this like the more misses stresses maximum principal stress y displacement absolute click close what else we can do is create a pipeline from here so we have the graph basic graph here the next thing we can do is create this clip so what is basically this is uh, that is before the warm is stresses let the scale will be around here let the mode be surface with edges field be the warm is stresses let's have some transparency here and click apply ok so we can hide the mesh here What basically it does is it tells the stresses inside the object. Let's create this this clip. This one. So the basic tutorial we need to do was to convert our obj objects into the arc and then at the end you can see we have applied the analysis here so that's all thanks for watching this was Nirbhay Chauhan for make love yourself in tutorials goodbye